Yo everyone, we should be live. Hope you all can uh, hear me well. Um, we're still waiting a little bit for... Uh, still waiting for Buck to join. He's starting his PS4 right now, so... And starting your PS4, as you guys know, it takes like 15 minutes. PS4 Master Race. I do, I do. So I'm just waiting for him to tell me that he is online. Pretty much. Yeah, so we're gonna have uh, Shock Blast versus Buck Stenko today. Uh, I don't know who Buck will play. I think he will play Balrog, right? So it's gonna be Balrog versus Sim, and I have no idea about that matchup. I mean, I don't think it can be good for Balrog, can it? Or maybe he can block something and kind of force his way in. I guess that's one way to handle it, since he can do like EX. Rush punch and force his way in and be plus even if he blocks. should be enough. So as soon as he joins, we should be ready to go. And this is uh, group B. Uh, let me see how it has gone for these two players so far. I think uh, Shock Blast is in the is in the top three at least. Is it, yeah, it's actually leading, but uh, number one and two has the same as him. So he's leading the group at the moment. Shock Blast is. And Buxton Co is on the fourth place, but he has only played three games. So. see how it goes and obviously um, shock blast is not playing Cody right. today believe it or not Oops, I accidentally plugged out my computer feels bad now there we go So yeah, it looks like it's going to be Balrog versus Sim here. Um, as I said before, I have no idea about this matchup, but I think Balrog has more than one way in, right? With his bash dash punches. Can probably do some unique uh, one. punishes right. as well. We will see how it goes. As we catch up, it seems like uh, Buck Stenko has taken the lead here over Shock. And using that ooh, nice little whiff trap there, using a, a space dash punch to catch his uh, counter poke after blocking. But the activation, ooh, it actually changed side that we reversed into it. And hits with the drill, 
was a little bit too high but counter hit so I think Buck didn't dare to try to, put, to push buttons after way anyway. And the CC into the low. Buck not willing to block there. Obviously this is a really annoying matchup no matter who you play I think. Good anti-air there, using the back medium punch. And poking now, trying to... Oh. And that's, of course, safe, that low. EX low. Shock not getting a lot out of that uh, B, B trigger there, but... Uh, gets caught, though, and gets that good corner carry from Balrog. Ooh, the shimmy! <laughs> Actually, V skilled under that Gale. Interesting choice. Don't know if that he was uh, supposed to do that, but uh, it worked. V skilled around that as well. Interesting. He can completely avoid that mix up, it seems. Good anti air. Keeps him down. And this is scary. He's in V trigger. Ooh, he actually missed with the grab, and now he's cornered. And catches him low. Cancels into that unsafe move, but maybe... No, he didn't have V-Trigger, so he just went YOLO. Hey, what's up, Yanni? They're starting off here. Buck finds his way in. Uses some space lows. Uh, it seems like Shock Blast is a little bit... He doesn't dare to push too many buttons against uh, Buck on, on distance. Oh, gets caught by the overhead. And fails to get the <laughs> jump in, but doesn't convert. But the shimmy actually getting him something afterwards. Activates the V trigger. Cooking Bach here. But activates and that should be. No? That was a daddy. For sure he could have cancelled into CA, right? Good tech. And Shock Blast actually has CA here, so he can do some damage, but uh, gets caught by that V skill and Bach takes the first game. Balrog wins. But yeah, it was close. That first game was really close. Could have gone either way, to be honest. Though, uh, Buck should have had that uh, first game. I wonder why they jumped out, though. Actually, Buck jumped out. I wonder why. I wonder why. His controller is being weird, he says. But it seems to be fixed now. Some mental warfare against Shock Blast there. Maybe. Or maybe he just killed his own momentum. Controller being weird, eh? Yeah, let's get back into it. Still 1-0 for Buck here against Shock Blast. Round one. Fight. Oh, good. Actually catches that poke with the sweep. Doesn't get to advance after the knockdown though, because he got counter poked himself too. Gets sent into the corner. Oh, that was failed. Probably... I don't know what that was. A drill, maybe? Oh, nice. Uses that DX punch to get in. And blocks the overhead with the... I think that was a punish. It looked meaty, but probably was a punish anyway. And that poke. Yeah, it's so hard. Once you're on that middle life and Dalsim has you with a little space away, that the instant overhead is always a threat, so... Really hard to survive. Good anti-air again. And uh, a weakness that Dalsim has is that he's not great against uh, cross-ups, actually. But Balrog, he doesn't have a cross-up. So, Shockblast doesn't have to worry about that. Backdashes on... Uh, 
I think that was a backdash on his wake up and gets back in the corner because of it. Slides under, gets a counter conversion, really nice. Into activation. Oh, and now it's, yeah, was the same situation again. Making it 1 1 here. A much, really strong round there for Shock Blast. Using his cheap, cheap uh, limps. Yo, what's up, Apex? Starting out there again. You can see Shock Blast really scared, scared to use the limps too much. Seems like uh, it's probably pretty easy for uh, Balrog to whiff punish them, so. Goes in for the grab, but Shock Blast standing up, so the grab doesn't reach. Oh, how unlucky <laughs> that punch went on the other direction. Really good damage there for Dalton. Goes into the drill. Um, catches him in close to stun, catches him low. And that should be it for this round, but he fucks it up. Activation. We will see him getting ball robbed here. Will he get ball robbed? Looking for those pokes. Goes, oh, goes low. And in the corner, scary, but no more V-trigger for Bach. Goes for the grab. And the CC. This should be close to stun. It's actually stun. And he actually took the round from that. Feels bad, man. Hey, what's up, Allison? It's gonna be free. Who you ha who you having as a favorite? Goes into the target combo there. Instant air gale from Shock Blast. It's a weird. Go uses the drill to get him, but the trade does it, so doesn't get this proper punish for it. As Buck in the corner now. Activates V-Trigger, but V-Reversal's out of there. Goes for a shake down, but Chalk sliding. And uh, relieving that pressure off himself. Oh, now it's really close to death. Yep. What's up, Sir Claude? Good to have you guys here. Shock will win 7-2. I mean, uh, Buck's looking in control here. He's doing good. Hey, Buburn, what's up? Round one. Fight. I mean, Buck is a really good player. He's usually just his own enemy. Getting too salty for his own good sometimes. Close to stun here. Ooh, that should be stun, yeah. Now, Dalsim not a stun monster, but maybe we can see something cool here. It's corner after all. Goes for the midi slide, overhead. And gets caught low into V-Trigger. Will he go to the corner? Oh, the shimmy, but doesn't convert of it. Blocks the... Goes low again. And the shimmy, but again, misses the buffer. Oh, and the EX fireball to go through the EX... Uh, Upper move thingy, whatever it's called. That does have armor, but two hits on the EX Fireball, so really good choice there from Shock Blast. Ooh, that floaty jump, keeping him in the corner. Mystery of Yoga, V Trigger activated, cooking buck here. Getting some good damage off it, actually. And again, the EX dash punch to keep uh, Shock Blast in the corner, really close to death, catches him. Shock Blast not wanting to be patient on defense at all, just really active trying to get out. Oh, Ness is up to drill again. It's been the. Uh, happened quite a lot of times there. Trades with Antire. They just get hit. Oh, that was. Really good teleporting. Goes low this time. Oh, and the Gale. Showing the solid and sensible gameplay of Sim here. With the high-low mix-ups. Cooking and the slide for the victory. Making it 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, maybe it has Yanni. Maybe it's trying to press that block button. 
Maybe he lost the timing of his cancels because of the dial combos. Who knows? Round one. Fight. Yeah, and Bach looking to catch some of those limbs, but gets a jump in instead. And the throw has him in the corner, close to stun. Ooh, guess for the stun here. Plus, use the V reversal to get that stun gauge down. Fights his way out of the corner. Shockla survived so far. Can he make his way back in this this round now? After that, Lausis are good CC on Buck trying to go around that fireball. Oh, gets caught out of the air with the EX dash punch. <laughs> Again, gets an ear reset because of back dash. Good V reversal. And a dash up, that's fake, of course. The Gale. Oh, it gets a counter hit, but no conversion! But a li little, small, little slide. Catching the ankles of Buck there, and the round goes to Shock Blast. Ah, good. Gets that EX low on the Yoga Fire. Who tried to air to air him there, but nothing happened. A bit awkward. But it ended up with Shock in the corner anyway, so I think Buck is happy with that. Tried to go for a little shimmy or a delay button there, but Shock was just waking up with buttons, not allowing him. Oh, catches the. I think that was a V skill or an overhead coming in. Really nice. But really close to death here, and that's it, yeah. Buck takes another round, it's really close. Oh, nice little slider actually, catching the recovery of that sweep, I think. Now, Shock has Buck in the corner here. Goes for the throw, but Buck, he jumps. Used the axe punch, the dash punch to get out of the corner, and now they're in the middle of the screen again. It's so good when you actually get hit with that. Yeah, the teleport into the overhead again. And the stun, and that's another round for Shock. Must be horrible for Sim. Yeah, I don't know actually. Um, I mean, I can't see it being good for Sim. But I don't know if it's bad, that bad either. But I mean, Balrog has some good ways in, right? He has some plus frames to take care of too. As soon as his meter, you can probably get in for free more or less. So. It's gotta be good for Balrog, yeah. And the Gale pressure here from uh, Shock Blast. Buck, he was brave enough to challenge after. Nice sweep on that drill. But the slide into V Trigger, cooking Buck here, who hitting him with the teleport into Hard King. He's been hitting Buck at, after every teleport pretty much. It's been so successful for Shock Blast so far. Oh, gets the reset into the low. What's it? Oh, and then again the Shimirino. And gets the buffer this time. That was lacking the last time he was in that situation. He just got the crouching medium punch, but didn't get any conversion off it. Yeah, Shock Blast is scared to poke here, as you can see. But Buck has no meter right now, so can't force his way in. Oh damn, that was a good, really good float into Hard Kick to catch the dash punch there. Oh, and gets the trade out there, but dashes in and gets swept because of it. Gets cooked, but in the corner, close to stun, again, gets shimmied. Shock Blast been reaching, Buck has been teaching so far. I need, really need to, uh, yeah, just need to take the throw, yeah, well, I think he would have been stunned either way in that situation, but, so he had to make a guess, but, uh, he's been reaching every time in that situation right now, so he gotta chill with, uh, with the delay tech a bit. Round one. Nothing's ever easy with Sims involved. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it's damn annoying, so. You can see Shock Blast is really taking a lot of breaks between the pokes because he knows the dash punch might be coming, so. It was a wake up teleport there. I get another one. 
And I guess uh, a good punish for Balrog is to just dash punch after every teleport, so that's not really something you can use. Oh, and another thing, I don't think uh, Sim has the best 4 frame punishes either. This time, Chuck's not reaching. Starting to cook him instead, putting himself in a really good position here. But is he dead? No. Will we see a wake up CA? A CA for the ship? Yep. Oh, he went through it! <laughs> really good recognition there from Buck. Going for the low. Nice. Gets the sweep and then gets the the throw into the low, but the wake up throw there, throwing Buck into the corner. Oh, really nice, avoiding the EX low, but Buck's getting in and in again here. B trigger activation, cooking him, putting some pressure. But Buck's out just like that. No more V trigger now for Shock Blast. And not looking really, really bad here. Goes for the shimmy again. And the low. Has V trigger again, actually, a second one. Really nice. Oh, goes low this time. He's cooking him, and he actually has CA. Oh, catches him. No! Good check by Bach there. Making it 4 3, actually. <laughs> I can see that you're you're more looking at who you want to who you want to lose rather than uh, who should win, right? Is Shock going back to the lobby now? It's These people. He is. How annoying. Okay, there we go. Working that magic, changing the names. Yo, Dusfully, what's up? Eat a dick, man, and says Penguin. Well, you're welcome, man. Du velkommen, mannen. <laughs> See, Allison still, uh, is still pissed off from that loss. Yo, Cypher, I see. What's up? No Apex talk allowed in chat, it's the ban. Yanni, you're a mod, you have to ban Cypher now. Okay, back into it. We can see that uh, Shockblast has tried to reach his final form here. Changing uh, costume. Maybe that will help him. Good anti-air jab, goes for the Gale. Uh, Buck not actually been uh, attacking at all, I think, so maybe Shockblast should try to go for more throws. Yeah, there he goes. Goes for a Gale if throw again. Gale. So close to stun, but Buck seems to find his way out, but here we are again. Wakes up Button, goes into the low, activation. And now it's really scary. When is the overhead coming? Is the overhead coming? There it comes. Oh, but he whiffs the EX dash punch and Shock Blast fights it out. <laughs> Ooh, my V skill. <laughs> yeah. Nice drill there again. Shock is really good at spacing those drills, actually. It can be annoying and using the. Quite aggressive with the teleports as well. Um, has some work left to do in defense, I think, but overall he's, he's becoming a really, really strong player. Using the, I think that's a hard punch yoga flame, which is plus, of course. Who gets caught by that double low activation? And then gets caught low. Is that stun? Yep, it is. And has he enough to close this out? No. If he had more V trigger, maybe, but the pro will do it. What's up, Tony? <laughs> v trigger foot sis, yeah. yeah he, Balrog has both V trigger foot sis and DX foot sis. It's kind of, kind of OP to be honest. Nice, hits him with the jump in there. Ooh, and that's a punish. Yep, got the corner position. Ooh, nice little low there. He gets the stun, but uh, 
Is this enough? With yeah, he builds meter, so maybe. No. Oh, that was so floaty. It's like every time he floats, I'm just scared that he will die. But Shockblast being able to take it here, making it 4-4. We really have a game. Maybe another first to ten. So yeah, that was a really good, uh, good session from Shock Blast that last game, and he needed it because Baxter Co has just been on a tear so far, doing really well. And Shock Blast, he seems to have found something here, making it work for him because Buck is in the in the corner again against him here. And tear jab goes for the drill. Oh, catches him really low. Oh, that's not well spaced at all, but no punish from uh, Shock Blast. And tear jab again. Catches him jumping away, it seems. The teleport's been doing a lot of work, still. Oh, V-reversal that. That's actually minus two in activation when he uses that low. Uh, ooh, blocks the overhead. Good punish. Gets the counter hit, but no conversion. Ooh! That's not what you want. Has V trigger here though, that's it, yeah. Takes the round. And uh, one of the changes to uh, Balrog, I don't remember if it was this season or last season, I think it was last season, is that that low uh, target combo that he has into V trigger cancel on block is actually minus two, I think. Um, so it's always your turn. I think uh, Shock just defaulted into a V reversal there. He likes to V reversal those uh, V trigger activation situations. Good corner possession here. Goes for a Yoga Anvil, but it whiffs. Goes for a Gale again, plus frames. Really close to killing here. Can he get out there? No, gets hit. And we're going to the other corner. What's the mix-up? Oh, he goes for a cheeky little uh, little shimmy there, but oh, the low catches him. That seems to go under the dash punch at times. Which is why he hit so much with the slide into trigger, I think. I wonder if he will do a slide into V-Trigger, yeah. What are the odds? Yeah, Shock taking the lead here, making it 5-4. Uh, I'm tilted just watching this match. Yeah, it's like that every time you play against Sim. You get tilted. In ways you didn't know you could get tilted. Until you play him and then you're always tilted. Good pressure here from Buck using that uh, hard kick, I think, cross counter button. That's plus three or something on block for some reason, just like if he was Akuma. But at least they nerfed it. It's not as good as it was back in season two. I think it was ridiculous. A, a jab again, and it goes for a little delayed button there, trying to catch a delayed throw probably. Good V reversal to keep him in the corner here. Buck was going for uh, activation, he still has V trigger, he's gonna look for a way to... Yep, and he goes again! Ooh, actually! <laughs> that didn't punish it? Uh, and gets hit by the overhead and he's dead. And that was so unnecessary because Shock Blast could just have pressed after that uh, after that activation but maybe that's why he did the EX right interesting trade there not what Bach wanted eats all of these buttons right now oh a neat little actually three hit combo there with the EX goes for the Gale Buck actually challenges afterwards madman those plus frames and Sim is actually, it's a scary position against Sim there. Because his Gale is so good. He can do like Gale loops to keep on having plus frames and, and uh, baiting throws in the corner, so... Ooh, nice! Use the plus frames there from the EX Fireball to do a safe teleport. But not ready for that teleport though, that wasn't safe at all. 
Who and neither was that, but Buck was jumping and didn't catch him. He was probably going for a dash punch or something, but messed up his input. Goes in, gets the throw, goes for that low. Good by Shockblast, not pressing there. Oh, tries to catch him, but uh, jumping hard kick, but no conversion. Catches him low. Has V trigger here, gonna look to get started. Oh, catches him. Oh, again, the wake up. Will he get thrown? No! He could just have thrown him. Maybe he had already pressed the crouching jab or something. Dalsim. Robbed by Dalsim, is Buck. 6 4 here. Actually, match point for, uh, for Mr. Shockblast. So, yeah, Buxton, he has his back to the wall right now. Needs to win this. Needs to win another, um, what is it, like two games? To force a tiebreak here, but gets done. Not the, not the start he wanted. Drops that combo there. Will he challenge? No, he backdashes. Someone needs to tell Shockblast that that isn't real. You don't have to hold that. But it's doing pretty well without it, to be honest. Goes up. Has two chances to take home the set right now. And Buck, he is looking for a limb to probably sweep or something to get in. Or block like that. Knocking on the door. Not getting too much out of it, but... Uh... Oh, he gets caught by the teleport! EX, good check on his V skill through there, but finally gets to jump in. Goes for a shimmy. Shock seen that one a bit more than once right now, so he's not reaching, but gets caught in the corner anyway. Oh, wake up buttons! He wants to finish it right here, but gets back thrown. Not dead yet. Oh, and the V trigger! And this will put him into a situation where an instant overhead will kill. Oh! And the teleport! And the over! <laughs> teleport in. Takes it. Shockblast winning with 7-4 uh, here. Let's see if the players know that uh, the set is over. Um, because they've been jumping out. Yeah, it seems that way. It seems that way. So anyways, um, that was the stream. Um, we have another stream coming up at uh, in 25 minutes at the top of the hour here. Where we're gonna have uh, Ricky Manjaro versus Uncle Beanits. It's gonna be another good game, so please check back in then. Uh, until then, I'm gonna host some guy to be nice. Um, let's see, let's host Nemphis. What is his uh, name again? Nemphis. Okay. 